never stop saying Minyeka, but it's my new word. Some added jeopardy for you here. I'm going to try to do the back and both sides in one session, which means that when I'm doing the other side, I won't be able to rest it on the bench. I'm going to have to hold it. And I've never tried this before. I've got some bench cookies and I can place the guitar face down on them. And that should keep the edge away from the towel. I'm, I'm still smarting from having put the impression of the grain, the, the weave of the towel in the one side when, when I did the first layer of uh, shellac on the sides. I didn't leave enough time. I want to get to the stage where I've finished with the dark shellac. I've been concentrating on the front and I've realised that I can't start doing clear shellac on the front until I've finished with the dark shellac on the sides because if I get any run over it's going to be very difficult to recover from it. So I've so far done three layers on the back with plenty of sanding and two layers on the side. I want to get at least another couple of layers on the side and maybe two or three layers on the back um, and then sand it down and then we'll be okay to go on to the clear shellac. I don't want to take this really any darker than I need and remember that I didn't start with any finish on the front or very little finish because I'd sanded most of it off whereas I've got some fairly healthy coverage on the back and sides already so I don't need to put too much extra dark shellac on there. So I'm, I'm hoping that in this session I will get to the point where I've finished with the dark shellac, at least for the, for the back and sides. I've still got the headstock to do, but I'm not going to do that at the moment because I think that's asking too much. Something's going to go wrong if I try to do effectively the whole guitar in, in, in one go. So uh, let's try it. I'm going with the, the pointy fad. Or muñeca, I've discovered, is uh, I think what perhaps Spanish luthiers call it which is the Spanish for doll, which makes, I mean, there's a doll with a very pointy head, but <laughs> when the round version is like a little rag doll's head. So I, I get why they call it that. So, for this coat I'm using the pointy muñeca, or fad, or rubber, or whatever you want to call it, um, so that I can get in with the neck. Wish me luck. I hope this doesn't go wrong. Actually, of course, I can rest it down for the first coat. But then I have to pick it. Actually, let's let's pick it up anyway because it will give me practice. I'll try not to touch it down. Here we go. Recharge the rubber. Right, I'm going to put the guitar down. So I'm going to this side. I can clamp the guitar into the vise if I need to. I'm just going to recharge the rubber a little bit just to keep things consistent. Again, it's quite a warm day, so it's probably not ideal French polishing time.
difficult to resist the dragging of the, the fad. Muñeca. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I'm going to go to the more classic ragdoll Muñeca. I've got to stop saying Muñeca, but it's my new word. Now I've got more classical round ragdoll shape. Fad, rubber, Muñeca. Let's go. And I've just realised you probably can't see this very well. I'll give you a different camera angle for the next coat. I guess this is really two coats because it's drying so quickly as I put it on. Going over it now is like a, it's really a second coat. sure I don't go over the edge or rather sorry I'm going off the edge and never onto it okay that's dragging quite a lot so I think that's it for that session turn to Mr Pointy I didn't quite get into the very edge of the neck so trouble is, it's difficult to not get a sort of edge to where you've wiped, but actually, that's all right. Oh, God. Certainly test the strength of your wrists, this. There's enough shellac on this that I can just keep squeezing more out as I need it. So I'm going to see if I can do the other side straight away with the same charge of shellac. Just a squeeze. Maybe I need to work out more. Or maybe I need to work out. The end really does need quite a lot of shellac on it. I'm wondering how much I can get out of this. probably enough. It's going to drag a bit too much. I think when I do the oops I think when I do the back with a fresh pad I might go over the end again. Whew, recharge. On fully charged muñeca.
Time to quit, but I'm going to recharge and go again. It's really starting to stick to work this, so just make sure I've got it as even as I can, really. I'm just going to go over the end again. I've had to put a sheet of paper, thick 160 gram paper, over the bench cookies. The bench cookies have a, a sort of serrated, serrated, dimpled surface and uh, the impression of the bench cookie has appeared on the front of my guitar. I, I did some shellac yesterday, as you will have seen in the previous video, and I did quite a lot of shellac, and apparently 20 hours drying time is not enough to prevent these pressing into the surface. I don't think it's a disaster, it's very, very slight, and I'm sure 1500 grit will immediately take the, the impressions away, but it's annoying all the same. So I'm going to do another coat, but I'm just going to be a little bit more careful. Mr Pointy. See if I recognise that reference. So I think this might be my last coat, but we'll we'll see how this goes. I think that's time to stop. It's dragging to the point where I can't really get an even surface. I can still see little pock marks here, but they are less than they were. One final indulgence, I'm just going to touch up two little spots here and there's a, a chip that's annoying me just here because it's not, the shellac isn't getting in and it's, it's a lighter colour. I think there's sanding dust in the bottom of the the dip. So just a little bit of extra shellac there. A little bit just there. Oh that's filled that nicely. Do a couple more there. <laughs> I think I might be going across all of them. Hopefully they'll just all sand flat. Well, that's a big improvement. I think this might be the last coats of dark shellac, but no promises. But maybe we go to the clear shellac next. So we'll say bye bye for now. <laughs>